So that could be another reason why I'm sleeping so much. Um, and yeah, and the, and the other thing is, obviously, because Chelsea broke up with me around that March area, it might also be because I was feeling a lot of pain through that whole experience that um, I wanted to disconnect. I wanted to say, right, I've had enough of this realm. Plug me into the dreamscape, you know. And I was wanting that more and more and more and more. Um, but it's strange because I feel like I am improving. I feel like I'm settling. I'm grounding. I'm becoming more content and fulfilled. I do feel like I'm moving forwards now. But my sleep pattern is staying the same. If anything, I'm sleeping even more. There's been some days where I've slept like 12 hours. And I know that is not normal. Um, so I don't know what's going on, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but it feels right to just roll with it for now, and I'm sure it will rectify itself in time. Although I don't even necessarily see it in that sense, there's nothing to rectify, it just is what it is, you know. But anyway, my dreams have been ridiculously intense lately, so much so that I'll often wake up feeling overwhelmed. Uh, it's just real intense stuff coming up. I think I'm really purging in the dreamscape at the moment. Coming face to face with a lot of issues, a lot of unresolved issues. And that's probably another reason why I'm sleeping so much. Because, you know, it's time to step up to the plate. It's time to deal with these things. It's time to stop running. I'm, I'm ready now to stop running. I, th I think I have done that a lot in the past. I ran from Harlow to the United States of America to get away from what I perceived as negativity, violence, aggression, hostility. It was a weird town, was Harlow, and um, I ran from it. But I don't think I was really truly running from Harlow, I think I was running from myself. And, and just unresolved issues, you know. But I, I definitely am ready to stop running. My legs are aching too much. I can't continue on, you know. Um, so I've been doing that a lot recently, just kind of stopping. Just becoming still. And just tuning into what's not quite right, you know. How do I get this to be perfectly balanced and it is hard sometimes but I feel like I'm getting there slowly but surely so yeah the other thing that just randomly popped into my mind a minute ago was I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the previous energetic changes videos I may have done the whole purple splodge thing that I see in my mind's eye but the thing that I wanted to add to this is I've actually started seeing it more and more frequently with my eyes open. Just like a purple splodge. Oh god, that's another thing. Wow, all these things are coming back to me. I was laying in bed the other night and I was hearing mumbling in the room, just to the right of me. I was on that bed, curled up. I think I was on kind of the right side of the bed, just curled up, waiting for Dalia, uh, Dalia Marie, my girlfriend, to come back from the bathroom. I heard this mumbling in my room, and all I could make out was these two voices, they kind of sounded like, I don't want to say gnomes, because that sounds silly, but <laughs> they kind of sounded just like little men, like little tiny magical creatures from some other realm, and I just heard, Reese is, Reese is, I remember, oh god, I remember it really taking me by surprise, I remember feeling tiny, tiny bit freaked out, because, you know, you don't expect to hear this shit. Um, but me being the kind of person I am, I do always front these things out. I'm not some wuss that's just like, oh, what's, what's happening, you know? I front it out. So, like, I turn round. Nothing's there. Nothing's there. So I just sit up in bed thinking, you know, this is pretty weird. I don't know what that was. And then I just start seeing flashes. And the room's dark, keep in mind. I just start seeing flashes. And how do I explain these flashes? Because it's more than just a flash. It's like... Like a flash of energy or a flash of a flash of somewhere else, I almost want to say. 
like I'm in this room, but I'm seeing these little flashes of what's really here. I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard to explain, but that was that was very weird, and I'm glad I remembered that because I totally forgot about it. Uh, so much weird shit happens to me. I just I forget half of it. Um, so yeah, I heard this mumbling. Looked around, no one was there. Seeing these flashes of energy. Oh yeah, and that's it. And then Delia came back out of the bathroom. I told her about it, and she said, "Oh my god, I was hearing mumbling in this room the other night as well." So it was corroborated there. She she heard the same thing. So that was quite interesting. Ah, oh, yeah. All sorts of stuff's been going on. And like I said, yeah, I've been seeing this purple splodge of energy more and more with just my eyes open. And I feel like it's someone. Yeah. That little purple splodge I see, it's not just colour, it's not just energy. It's someone. It's an entity of some sort. Anyway, I've been waffling on for a while now. 35 minutes, wow. I didn't think it had been that long. Okay, I'm going to round things up now then. Uh, I love you all so much. Thank you for sticking with me for all these years. To the people that have been with me since the beginning, four years ago, thank you so much. I love you. I really do. And I love everyone. Not just you lot. I love everyone. Absolutely everyone. Namaste. And um, I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.